Hello everyone, you may see sick of ads popping up hey. all over the place. What if I told you that you can create your very own ad blocker in just few minutes? No need to hey, rely on to others, you. block ads your way in any sites. Sounds really exciting, right? Let's jump in and see how it works. Alright everyone, in order to build our first ad block Chrome extension, we need to create a file who is called menuface.json and inside this file we need to write our code so as you can see here is manifest.json file and inside this file i need to type the manifest version so money manifest version and we can define here version let's say three and after that i would like to define here the name of the extension and which will be let's say simple add block card and after that i would like to define version that's going to be let's say one initial version and then we are going to describe a description description that's gonna be a simple ad blocker for website so after adding description we need to type here permission so let's go ahead and type here permission and uh, permission that's gonna be an array and inside this array we'd like to add here permission so what will be the permission that's gonna be web request and uh, after web request and uh, we can type here another permission which will be web request blocking there we go and after that i would like to type another permission which will be declarative net request there we go and after that i would like to type another permission which will be active tab there we go we have type all our permission and after that what we have to do we need to define host permission as well so let's go ahead and try to copy this permission and here we can say host and let's say permission and inside this host permission that's gonna be an array and we can say here all urls so this way we can define urls there we go after that we need to link up we need to write our exactly logic right so let's create a service worker which will be a background dot j something like that and let's create it and insert this background that's gonna be an array and insert this sorry array and then service worker and service worker which will be this file name let's say background.js we need to create the background.js it's gonna be an object away our year is gone there we go we need to create this background.js file there we go we have created after that we need to contain a script so content script that's gonna be an array and inside this content script we need to type match url and js content file so just like this we need to add here matches all url and js content.js we need to create a file that's going to be content.js as well we have link up everything to our file so we have done our manifest.json file now we need to work inside this background.js file let's go ahead and try to work inside this background.js we need to define here rules guys so initially that's gonna be chrome and then we need to add this declarative guys this declarative request right so just copy and paste it over here so that our spelling is correct otherwise we'll get an error and then we need to use update Oops. dynamic rules after adding update dynamic rules and inside this update dynamic rules we need to add here add rules guys just like this and add rules that's gonna be an array 
and inside this add roles let's add an object and that's gonna be an id which will be one and after that i would like to add here priority so id and then priority that's gonna be one and then i'm going to add here action or whether add will be block or not so action type that's gonna be block and after that i would like to add a condition so here i'm going to add condition that's going to be a filter right so let's add here url filter the filter that's gonna be double click dot net here is our url filter on resource type let's add here the resource type and which will be script image and sub image guys this is our condition and finally what we have to do we just need to remove the roles so there we go remove roles id one so this way basically we can add here roles in order to block our ad right now there is nothing in content content.js file let's go ahead and try to write a function here javascript so that's gonna be cons add element and that's gonna be document dot query selector all and we are gonna get all id and here let's type all id so that's going to be id and this way basically will grab all id in add we get it and we are gonna get all class as well similar way there we go and so here will be art just like this we get query selector all id and add class and add and then finally we need to finish here and that's it we have great all id and ads and then we need to remove everything so here is our add elements so after adding our add elements we need to use for is loop and for is that's gonna be a callback function right so we're going to write our callback function and el dot remove function there we go after adding this function all, all add will be removed and we have link of here content dot js here is our script file so you can add here pop up and everything but let's go ahead and try to check whether it is working or not in order to check what we have to do you just need to go ahead in chrome extension as you can see after go call chrome extension you just need to open developer mode if you open under developer mode as you can see here is load unpacked file here you have to load the folder as you can see guys here is chrome extension my folder name and i have just loaded this folder after loading this folder if you take a look here all inside my all extension here is a simple ad blocker here is a version one so i can change the version as well so i'm giving refresh it still is here so where you you see version is one if i add here version two and go ahead and try to give a reload here as you can see here is version two which means it's working so now we are going to check whether it is working or not so here is our w3 school as you can see if i'm giving refresh there is a no ad here so as you can see here will be some ad banner ad it's completely removed so how we can check we just need to off this extension and give a refresh once again and you will see ads as you can see here is my advertisement so that's it guys if you just on and you will never see any ad here give a refresh and see there is a no ads this way basically you can able to add but if you want to pop up this extension like other extension you can add these rules as well but uh, this is our since this is our first extension we're just 
keep it very simple what we have done here we define here manifest version name and description and we have defined here permission and host permission all urls and background here service worker background.js and content script here i'm just trying to keep it very simple since this is our first chrome extension but if you like this video just let me know i'll create another video with all feature thank you very much and don't forget to give a subscribe